because wow, that was my fridge how rude okay i'm definitely gonna make this my ipad wallpaper that's for sure hello friends and welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna be creating a digital vision board and i am so excited because it's june we're in the middle of the year so what better time to create a vision board and kind of reset our goals and revisualize what we want to accomplish by the end of this year when i was journaling the other day i wrote down a few things of different goals that i wanted to put in a vision board for kind of like a mid-year reset in a way i want to be able to visualize my goals again and the best way i find to do that is through a vision board i love making vision boards especially digitally because it just takes away the hassle and mess of cutting up paper and magazines and all of that. I'm going to be showing you my process of what I do when I create a vision board and that will be using Canva and Pinterest. The couple things that I wrote down were, and I literally just, if I, I'll show you here, I had literally just written a few words down on a page, extremely random, there was no rhyme or reason to this, but I'll just go in order of what I wrote. And so I have here, wake up early, eat more whole foods, read more, YouTube growth, uh, budgeting, travel, spirituality, and meditation, and all of that. And then I have running, walking, at-home workouts, which I put like as Pilates, home improvements, hanging out with friends, tattoos and piercings, illustration, and also relationship. So these are just a few keywords of things in my life that I either want to keep or keep on improving or add to. It's just things that I believe will make me feel more me, more... I guess wholesome in a way just like the things that i want in my life all year round and so i'm gonna put this stuff in a vision board and i'm gonna be showing you exactly how i do it if you want to you can follow along and do your own vision board for the middle of this year but without further ado let's get started we're gonna dive into my ipad first where we're gonna be going through pinterest to find these images and then once i have those we can go to my computer just because i like using canva more there but they do have an app as well and then i'll show you how i build the board on canva so here is my iPad. Okay, wonderful. So I started this, the screen recording now. And I'm going to find photos that mean wake up early. So for me, I want to aim to wake up between 5.30 and 6 on most days. So I'm going to look for 5.30 a.m. clock. Let's see what comes up. Okay. I'm always going to try and add the word aesthetic next to what I type. Just because typically Pinterest will then bring up more aesthetic looking photos. And I like to make my vision boards look aesthetically pleasing for me just so that when I look at them I feel something and I feel excited But you might not want to make your board aesthetic You might just want photos that generally represent exactly what you're looking for So it really depends to make this a little bit quicker now I think I'm just gonna stop recording put on some music and I will find my photos and then I'll come back to you So I'll see you soon Wow so I think I just spent about 20 minutes on Pinterest going through and finding different photos and I think I'm really happy with the photos that I found. They're on my board, I'm gonna open up my laptop now, I'm gonna download all of them and then upload them to Canva and I'll show you how I do all of that. So I just finished saving all the photos and I didn't count as like the amount that I actually had saved and it's 18 photos which for me it's actually a special number. I have it tattooed right here. And I think that's really cute. That was the amount of photos that I chose on accident. I'm going to, now that I have them all downloaded, I'm going to import to Canva. And I'm going to do that right now so that you can see. So I have the screen recording going. So I'm going to show you what I do first is I go over here to elements on Canva. And then I will scroll all the way down until I find grids. I go on to see all. And then now I scroll all the way to the very bottom. And that's when I find this grid right here. This is what I like to do if I want to have them kind of be even photos. But sometimes I also like to add and do uneven and kind of just put them where I want. So I'm going to see with these photos if I like them even. If not, I'll just delete the grid and then add them in a different way. So under uploads here is where I'm going to upload the files. So they're just all in my download. So I'll just select that choose upload and now they will be uploading right here actually thinking about it not all of them are like gonna fit well in this kind of rectangle format so i think i'm going to do just no grid but the grid is a really great option if you want to take like the organizing layout out of it and just want to import your photos i've done that one before a few times okay so now i'm gonna add them to my canva board and then from here we can change up how they look and crop it and all of that If you want to bring a photo up 
like from under the, another one on canvas so you're gonna go here on position and then you have these options right here where you can bring forward by one or completely to the front if it was behind multiple other photos you can just pick to front and it'll bring it up all of those layers I'm really happy with this and honestly the photos kind of look really well together now that I have all of my photos arranged the way I want them on Canva you can just leave it at this like I said I'm going to import it into Procreate on my iPad to just add a few doodles and words here and there but that's about it once I have this done I will share and I will download it as a PNG which typically has the best quality and then download and there we go we're gonna go off this one and now we're gonna open my iPad and take it into Procreate. So I'm gonna open up Procreate and I'm just gonna do a screen size uh, template because I want it to fit my iPad and I'm gonna insert the photo. Perfect, so it already fits perfectly because that, those are the dimensions that I had. Now we are going to do some doodles together. So I'm gonna choose white and I'm gonna choose my favorite one for doodling which is this dry ink pencil. I have it in this favorites category, but it should be, I think, under inking. There it is, dry ink, wonderful. I'm gonna get my little keywords and see what I want to add in terms of words or lines. For here, I'm gonna do it. All done. I'm really happy with these little doodles. That kind of brings us to the end of the video. That's how I create my vision boards and I'm really happy with this one. So I will put it up on the screen, but this is what it looks like in Procreate. Thank you so, so much for staying with me until the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed the process of creating a vision board with me. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like and also the subscribe and bell button down below because it means so much to me and I am so excited to keep on making videos for you. I will see you in my next video. Bye!